What I have here are bitter almonds. You wouldn't want to eat them. Why? Because they contain a compound called amygdalin. Fascinating compound. When it is ingested, it breaks down and it releases cyanide and also releases a compound called benzaldehyde, which is responsible for the flavor of almonds. There is enough uh, cyanide in bitter almonds that if you ate a few of them, it could cause a problem. However, when you buy almond flavoring, which is widely available, you don't have to worry about cyanide because they have taken the bitter almonds and treated them either with heat or with uh, ultrasonic energy to drive off the cyanide. So there's no concern about that. Also, it is possible to make benzaldehyde synthetically from petroleum products. And uh, then of course, there is no vestige of cyanide in there at all. And uh, a lot of the benzaldehyde flavoring that is sold commercially for cookies, etc., is made with synthetic uh, benzaldehyde. Now, there is sort of a bitter side to this story. And that is that there are some people out there uh, who are really in the quack category who claim that uh, bitter almonds or a derivative called laetril, or sometimes they call it vitamin B17, there is no such vitamin, they claim that this is a treatment for cancer. Why? Because they say it releases cyanide and because cancer cells multiply more quickly than regular cells, it will have a greater effect on impairing their multiplication. Uh, that is uh, potentially uh, an idea. However, it has been tested over and over again. And there's absolutely no evidence that, that uh, bitter almonds or apricot pits, which also contain amygdalin, have any kind of effect on cancer. Uh, this got a lot of publicity uh, years and years ago when uh, Steve McQueen, movie actor, was stricken with cancer and tried Laetrile. Of course, it didn't do any good for him at all. Uh, there's another interesting story about uh, benzaldehyde as a flavoring. It is used in uh, Amaretti cookies, and those are very popular, especially in Italy, from where they uh, originate. And they are made either with sweet almonds or with bitter almonds that have had the cyanide uh, removed. And one fascinating thing about these is that while well, humans love the flavor of almonds, they like uh, benzaldehyde, Bees do not, and beekeepers make use of this. They will either spray benzaldehyde or in some cases even put benzaldehyde cookies or cakes into a beehive to keep the bees away while they rob the honeycomb of uh, honey. So benzaldehyde certainly is a very, very interesting uh, chemical, uh, and of course so are bitter almonds interesting chemically, but uh, there is absolutely no truth of the fact that they can be used to treat cancer. And preying on cancer victims with uh, misinformation is just an outrageous thing to do. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.